Hey guys, we are going to talk about osmosis today. This is section 3.2 and osmosis is a form of diffusion. So osmosis being a form of diffusion is a form of passive transport, which means it does not require energy to occur. But when we look at osmosis, what's important to note where diffusion was dealing with molecules or particles that were diffusing across the cell membrane from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration down the concentration gradient. Osmosis has a very similar definition, but it's dealing with water. So osmosis is the net movement of water molecules from a region of high water potential to a region of low water potential through a partially permeable membrane. So let's look at an image that we can start talking about what it means when you see the phrase a dilute solution and a very concentrated solution because these terms are going to come up on test questions and you will see them fairly often. Now when we talk about in terms of water potential, a dilute solution is going to have a high water potential. There's more water in it. It's more diluted. You've all had a drink before that was supposed to be extra sweet and yummy. And maybe someone added too much water to it when they were making it, maybe a Kool-Aid or something, and it was diluted. Okay, so a dilute solution means high water potential. A lot more water than, let's say, the sugar molecules. We'll call the little red dot sugar molecules that are inside of it. We can look at the opposite at a concentrated solution. A concentrated solution has a low water potential. There are more, let's say, sugar molecules and less water in this concentrated solution because it's concentrated with those sugar molecules and there's less water, so a lower water potential. So let's say we had these two, um, uh, these two instances or these, um, these two scenarios outside of a cell membrane. So if we have our semi-permeable cell membrane, and let's say on the outside of one side of the cell membrane, there was a high water potential, this is a dilute environment, but on the other side of the cell membrane, it was a very low water potential or a very concentrated water environment, um, a concentrated environment with these large solids, let's just call them sugar, okay? so. The way that water will move, it moves just like diffusion from higher to lower. So we're gonna move from a higher water potential to a lower water potential. Because ultimately, remember, equilibrium is the goal. So water will move from where there's, there are less solutes to where there are more solutes, because these cannot jump across that cell membrane. So you can see water will be forced to this right hand side um, to ultimately try to dilute that solution more to find that equilibrium. Okay, so make sure with diffusion, we follow the molecules, the particles, the, the other circles that we're dealing with outside or inside of the cell. For osmosis, we follow the water. Make sure our water is moving from high, a high water potential to a low water potential. Okay, now, when we see this, uh, see each other next time, we are going to talk about osmosis in plant and animal cells, as well as diffusion and how it's occurring all throughout our body and all throughout plants. So make sure you get these notes on osmosis and uh, be ready for our Check for Understanding quiz when we see each other again. All right, y'all have a great day.